What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Tastemaker's Palette, back at it with another review. Um, hope that you all are doing well. Um, just want to drop a, a review, uh, closing out the the uh, season. It's, you know, we're looking at the end of the summer here and had a couple of couple of short sleeve button ups that, um, you know, that I wanted to go over. Um, I also wanted to introduce a brand to the channel that I've uh, been a big fan of for quite some time, but just have not done um, a review on. So, um, you know, just want to kind of touch on a few things. Uh, the button up shirt is, you know, a key staple in, in, in the closet, a uh, key staple in the wardrobe. Um, you know, for a long time, uh, you know, button ups have kind of waxed and waned in and out of uh, in and out of fashion trend and it seems like you know having a button up now is 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 an essential so um you know i have three summer button ups that i want to review and so i have um a, a namias another namias silk that i wanted to review just because of you know how fresh the shirt is you've seen namias um you know as a as a recurring theme on my channel um just a, a great brand that i that i have faith in up and coming, um, semi-established, they're there. Um, but I, I see a lot more potential for it, a lot more growth. Um, and hopefully the spotlight continues to shine brighter and brighter on that on that brand. Got a lot of dope stuff. Um, it's got something from there. Got an Isabel Marant uh, button-up shirt. Um, kind of a watercolor style floral button-up, which is dope. Um, kind of a, a cross-seasonal touch to it something that you could wear and definitely in the summer and, and a bit into the fall when it's still warm and um last but not least the the brand that i wanted to kind of highlight um in this review uh is gitman vintage from uh it's kind of a, a subset of gitman gitman brothers which is um kind of a, a low-key um shirting company which is is dope um it's kind of a, a shirting company that produces you know uh, normal classic button-up shirts that you would wear either casually or for business but they have um they also have this eclectic side uh creative side where they they create all of these um kind of stylish button-ups with um you know dope subtle type um you know patterns to them and th there's there's a couple of people that are up on gitman um some people who are not you know uh the, but i i think it's it, it definitely deserves a place um you know of of mention especially on my channel here so wanted to um to highlight it so i actually the shirt that i'm um reviewing today i'm actually letting go because it it the the arms are too small but um, that, that's something that we'll discuss when we go into the review and we discuss sizing. So, um, hold tight and, um, let's get into it. So what I'll do is I'll start with the Namaya shirt and the, the gear that I have on, I didn't think this through before I hit record on the camera, the shorts that I have on, they don't complement any of the shirts. So I'm going to switch out into a pair of shorts that I can use to, um, to uh, do my try on. So Give me a quick second, we'll do that, and then we'll grab the Namaya silk and we'll get into it. Hope you guys summer is wrapping up well and you got good uh plans for your fall. I, am, I think I'm going to close the summer out with a bang, hit a couple of trips, rock some of these outfits that I got. Do a little, do a little socializing, a little partying. All right, so let's take a look at what we got here. So um, what I'm holding here is the, and you guys will notice, like, I, I go over Namias and I, I review Namias and I'm strictly doing their silks. Namias has a full line of fire, fire, um, kind of, it's hard, they're hard to categorize, which is a good thing. But um, they, they definitely, there's definitely DNA and foundation of California grunge in there. California kind of skate grunge with urban, with mixtures of other urban influences as well, basketball, 
um, you can tell um, Donnie Man uh, Namias is um, is the the owner and co-founder, and you can tell his you can see his upbringing through his designs. Like, um, you know, he's from Cali, but I see I can almost resonate with what I see through his design in terms of like, hey, you know, we've probably had a similar coming of age, a similar experience growing up type thing, because he's has he has these urban influences, um, you know, skate, basketball, street. Um, so on and so forth in all of his in all of his um his designs. So even though you see me just doing the silks, check them out, check them out in the .com, see what they got. Um dope dope brand. But yeah, this is the Namias Grape Swishers silk. This is a fire, fire silk shirt, kind of a watercolor design that has grape clusters and <laughs> grape swisher sweets on them. And they're not branded as Swisher Sweets, but it's 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 implied. Um, this is with the grape Swisher Sweet. I I think this is an acquired taste. I don't smoke Swisher Sweets, but the shirt was so dope, I still copped it. Um, so it it all depends. Like some people may be turned off by the Swisher Sweets or whatever on the shirt, but he does a tasteful job at using the watercolor and the grape clusters to kind of blend and take away from. It. It kind of tastefully execute. You can still add the Swisher Sweets to them and it doesn't look like it's hood. And then the the shirt itself, because it's such a, a, a good cut of silk and a nice shirt, it, 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 could, it could not come across that way. So it just kind of serves a dual purpose. It elevates, it elevates urban themes. So, but really, really love this. This is kind of purple and green and blue hues in the watercolor with just the grape clusters all over and um this the swisher sweets so got this for a great deal got it for got it at svrn.com and i got it for a hundred bucks which is don't don't expect to find that um in most places you might be able to get it for two 250 um on sale now because this is the previous season and the Mayas has a whole new season out um, but regular price, this is a $700 silk shirt. So, um, if you're looking for this particular one, you may be able to find it for two, two fifty on, on deeply, deeply discounted sale, 50% off. You're still looking at three fifty. Um, but I did get a, get, get a steal at SVRN and I, I, I had some other Namaya silks that I got from that site that I, I, I put you guys on when it was still some, some of these in stock, but if you missed it, you missed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on, let you see what it looks like with it on. Give me a sec. So this particular shirt that I have now here is a 2XL right but a 1xl fits just fine um again i am about i'm 6'2 about 245 um athletic um and so i bought the extra size up so that i could get the more with the silk shirt look you know you want the extra the extra flow in your uh in your shirt it kind of Kind of looks better. Let me let me uh, step aside, step back a little bit, so you can see a little more. So here it is for the extra flowy effect. Um, if I size down to the XL, it would be more of the fitted look, which is that is also cool. Um, and I have Ruben Amayas the there. They they um, their sizing is pretty consistent. Uh, their shorts changed a bit. Um, their shorts got a bit more roomy. So, but ultimately, true to sizes, you can live with true to size. You, you know, it, it'll be a bit fitted. With silk, it's a little bit risky because there's no stretch in silk. There actually is a tad bit of stretch in the Mayas' silk because I think there is like 1% elastane or 1% something stretchy there. Um, but still in all, it's still a fine cut of silk. And if it's too, too small, um, it's light and it will tear if it's too small and you make a sudden move and we don't we don't want that that, that kind of wardrobe malfunction is just unacceptable but um, but this is what it looks like 
and you know just to kind of step up and let you see the pattern of it it just glows and shines obviously it's silk but very very good look so um that's for that one um let's move on to the isabel Laurent. So here is another brand that I am fancying a lot and just um, the aesthetic of it, of it, of the brand and what they produce um, just generally, they, they, they produce styles and, and designs that just, you know, that I love and that go with pretty much everything that I, you know, that I have in my closet. So it makes it an easy, um, an easy brand to just kind of carouse and find something for me. So this is the, I don't know the exact name of it, but it's a, like a watercolor Isabel Marat short sleeve shirt. Um, this one I also got at um, svrn.com. I got it for $48, guys. I almost hate to tell you about these deals because it's out of stock. And the original price for this, probably around 300 bucks, somewhere in that range. Um, you can probably find it for 100 bucks now, uh, deeply discounted because of this previous season as well. Um, but like you won't find it for 48. Um, it won't be an easy find to find it for a price like that, but just a beautiful, beautiful, um, design. It's watercolor flowers, but they're not, um, they're, they're not like, like an actual, actual perfect, um, picture of a flower, perfect depiction of a flower. It's, it's like a watercolored flower with other um, types of the designs built in and that watercolor I mean not you know it's just like different um, different colors within each flower it's almost like a tie-dye uh, different tie-dye within each flower just a beautiful beautiful shirt G dark gray charcoal is the base so that allows for you to you know to wear it in different seasons nice lightweight Isabel Morant is top quality um, best fabrics that you can find out there so um, this is a size XL. The brand fits for me true to size. They have a lot of oversized styles, which, which I like. Um, and so, yeah, let's take a look and see what it looks like on. you know drop in the comments or whatever you have whatever have you um you know what your experiences with these brands are if you like these brands um if you have heard of them and haven't tried them what your thoughts are this is a dope shirt i can't wait to wear it haven't worn either one of these yet so um some new flavor for the for the upcoming season and to wear for the remainder of this season. All right, let's see what we got. Very nice. I mean, it, it doesn't get any classier. Let's take a look at that. Perfect fit, perfect flare, not too much, not too little. Got some side slits on the side of the shirt here. Um, wonderful, comfortable fit. I mean, just really, really nice. This is a, a very flattering, flattering top. Um, nice pair of designer sneakers, denim shorts, denim. Um, I mean, you name it, there are different, different ways you can execute on this. Isabel Morant also has a, a pair of shorts that match this shirt exactly. Um, I wasn't, <laughs> style-wise, I wasn't invested in having a whole suit. Um, sometimes I do the full suits. Sometimes I wear the shorts separately, so on and so forth. But I passed up on the shorts for this one. But, um, I mean, this is just a nice a nice shirt, a great pattern. You know, it's, it's very tasteful, and it's not something... These are not things that are that will go overlooked um, because they're so subtle. I mean, they'll definitely get um, get looks and, and people will notice them. So, 
Um, dope, dope shirt. Let's get into the last one. Last but not least, get me vintage. So, give me vintage. I mean, again, this is a wild card brand for me. It's a brand that is very, um, it, the 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 two, the two things that you'll get from this brand is the best of the basics and the the best and most. Um, ah, I'm trying to think of a word, man. It just eclectic, man. Shirts have a lot of, a, a lot of spunk. You know what I mean? I mean, spunk is the wrong word. But it's just like this particular one is is your basic Hawaiian scene, but it's in 3D and it is executed so well. I mean, it is an optical illusion when you wear the shirt. It, it, I mean, it, it this will mess with your death perception if you look at it too long. It, and it's just I think that's so cool. The shirt originally came with a pair of 3D glasses as well. Um, I can't what was crazy about this shirt is sometimes. Sometimes I validate like some of the some of my some of my purchases. I'm validated when I see something like I was watching a James Bond movie and I can't. I wish I could remember which one, but one of the um, Bond wore this shirt in one of his movies, and I was like, "Hold!" This is when I had the shirt. I was like, "Hold up!" I was like, "Man, I need to be on set style on these guys. Great minds think alike." Um, but I mean, it's just a dope, um, you know, like island getaway kind of shirt um you know if you're going on vacation this is the quintessential hawaiian shirt if you go to hawaii you know anywhere tropical um just rocking this shirt is as um you know a shirt like this is a must but again just to bring attention to the company itself when you look at how i mean any any brand could make a shirt like this but when you look at this this is executed perfectly like the way they have the um, the blue, the red, the light blue, the red, and the black to create that depth perception and to create that third dimension on the shirt is 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 impeccable. Next level. I'm going to try it on again. Um, so this is an XL, and what I'll say is with Gitman, it's a bit tricky. Um, I, I would have preferred to have gone up one size because my arms are very, very tight in the shirt. And as a result, I'm letting it go because it's just not a comfortable fit. And I love this shirt, the pieces. I've had this shirt for probably about three years, if not more, maybe four years. And um, it, there was a, a point in time where I just didn't get a chance to wear it. And then I gained a few pounds and then, you know, it changed the game with the shirt. So um, I'm, I'm winding up having to get rid of it. But let's take a look. I can, I mean, it's not so bad that I can't get it on, but it's just, I'm just uncomfortable with how, um, with how tight the arms are. It's a little bit snug in terms of comfort. I picked this up at Barney's New York. I don't even know if these are in circulation anymore. Again, it's a very old shirt. I picked it up when it was out of season and that was about three years ago, but um, it's just kind of a classic. Um, that I felt almost obliged to um, to review and then just to use it as the perfect shirt to talk about the brand on the site. So as you see the XL, it fits well in the body. You know, there's no, there's no issue in the body, but my arms, I mean, if I flex, it feels like I'm getting my blood pressure taken. Um, and, you know, as a matter of comfort, I don't know, maybe I would get used to that, but I don't know, it's just... Just a little bit more room in the arms will be perfect. Great shirt, button down collar stays, button down collar stay in the back of the neck, keeps that collar fastened. Um, great, great fit in the body, comfortable. It has the scalloped hem on the side here. Um, it, it's not, uh, what do they call it, asymmetric. It's The symmetry is there on both sides, but it is scalloped. Um, I guess that allows for you to blouse in the front and the back if you decide to tuck, but you can't blouse too much on the side. Um, but yeah, I mean, dope shirt, just a little bit tight for my taste. Some people will say, hey, Dallas, you know, no big deal, whatever. But I mean, you wear this shirt, it looks like I got the WWE arms with this shirt. And, you know, I don't know. 
Great, great shirt, man. Great, great shirt. Hate to give it up, but um, but again, you know, guys, just be aware of this brand, Gitman Brothers, um, Gitman Vintage. Um, I'll leave some links in the description so that you can click on them and see some of the, um, you know, some of the more fashion forward things that they're doing on on that end. If I'm, you know, if you're just being introduced to the brand from um, from me doing this review, so. Um, all right, guys, I spent a little bit of extra time on today's review. I had three shirts, went over them. Um, you know, hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about these brands. Let me know what your um, knowledge of these brands are, your experiences with these brands are, good, bad, or indifferent. It's all good. Um, leave some comments. Let's talk about it. Um, appreciate you guys watching, spending your time with me today. Um, Till the next time, take the Taste Makers palette, and we out.